The chalcogens are the chemical elements in group 16 of the periodic table. This group is also known as the oxygen family. It consists of the elements oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and the radioactive element polonium. The chemically uncharacterized synthetic element livermorium is predicted to be a chalcogen as well. Often, oxygen is treated separately from the other chalcogens, sometimes even excluded from the scope of the term chalcogen altogether. Due to its very different chemical behavior from sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium, the word chalcogen is derived from a combination of the Greek word carcomicron s principally meaning copper and the Latinized Greek word genes, meaning born or produced. Sulfur has been known since antiquity, and oxygen was recognized as an element in the 18th century. Selenium, tellurium and polonium were discovered in the 19th century, and livermorium in 2000. All of the chalcogens have six valence electrons, leaving them two electrons short of a full outer shell. Their most common oxidation states are minus 2, plus 2, plus 4, and plus 6. They have relatively low atomic radii, especially the lighter ones. Lighter chalcogens are typically non-toxic in their elemental form, and are often critical to life, while the heavier chalcogens are typically toxic. All of the chalcogens have some role in biological functions, either as a nutrient or a toxin. The lighter chalcogens, such as oxygen and sulfur, are rarely toxic and usually helpful in the pure form. Selenium is an important nutrient but is also commonly toxic. Tellurium often has unpleasant effects, and polonium is always extremely harmful, both in its chemical toxicity and its radioactivity. Sulfur has more than 20 allotropes, oxygen has 9, selenium has at least 5, polonium has 2, and only one crystal structure of tellurium has so far been discovered. There are numerous organic chalcogen compounds. Not counting oxygen, organic sulfur compounds are generally the most common, followed by organic selenium compounds and organic tellurium compounds. This trend also occurs with chalcogen nictides and compounds containing chalcogens and carbon group elements. Oxygen is generally extracted from air and sulfur is extracted from oil and natural gas. Selenium and tellurium are produced as byproducts of copper refining. Polonium and livermorium are most available in particle accelerators. The primary use of elemental oxygen is in steel making. Sulfur is mostly converted into sulfuric acid, which is heavily used in the chemical industry. Selenium's most common application is glass making. Tellurium compounds are mostly used in optical discs, electronic devices, and solar cells. Some of polonium's applications are due to its radioactivity properties. Atomic and physical chalcogens show similar patterns in electron configuration, especially in the outermost shells, where they all have the same number of valence electrons, resulting in similar trends in chemical behavior. All chalcogens have six valence electrons. All of the solid, stable chalcogens are soft and do not conduct heat well. Electronegativity decreases towards the chalcogens with higher atomic numbers. Density, melting and boiling points, and atomic and ionic radii tend to increase towards the chalcogens with higher atomic numbers. Isotopes out of the six known chalcogens, one has an atomic number equal to a nuclear magic number, which means that their atomic nuclei tend to have increased stability towards radioactive decay. Oxygen has three stable isotopes, and 14 unstable ones. Sulfur has four stable isotopes, 20 radioactive ones, and one isomer. Selenium has six observationally stable or nearly stable isotopes, 26 radioactive isotopes, and nine isomers. Tellurium has eight stable or nearly stable isotopes, 31 unstable ones, and 17 isomers. Polonium has 42 isotopes, none of which are stable. It has an additional 28 isomers. In addition to the stable isotopes, 
Some radioactive chalcogen isotopes occur in nature, either because they are decay products, such as 210 Po, because they are primordial, such as 82 She, because of cosmic ray spallation, or via nuclear fission of uranium. Livermorium isotopes 290 through 293 have been discovered. The most stable livermorium isotope is 293 LV, which has a half-life of 0.061 seconds. Among the lighter chalcogens, the most neutron-poor isotopes undergo proton emission. The moderately neutron-poor isotopes undergo electron capture or beta plus decay. The moderately neutron-rich isotopes undergo beta minus decay and the most neutron-rich isotopes undergo neutron emission. The middle chalcogens have similar decay tendencies as the lighter chalcogens, but their isotopes do not undergo proton emission and some of the most neutron-starved isotopes of tellurium undergo alpha decay. Polonium's isotopes tend to decay with alpha or beta decay. Isotopes with nuclear spins are more common among the chalcogens selenium and tellurium than they are with sulfur. Allotropes oxygen's most common allotrope is diatomic oxygen, or O2, a reactive paramagnetic molecule that is ubiquitous to aerobic organisms and has a blue color in its liquid state. Another allotrope is O3, or ozone, which is three oxygen atoms bonded together in a bent formation. There is also an allotrope called tetraoxygen, or O4, and six allotropes of solid oxygen including red oxygen, which has the formula O8. Sulfur has over 20 known allotropes, which is more than any other element except carbon. The most common allotropes are in the form of eight atom rings. But other molecular allotropes that contain as few as two atoms or as many as 20 are known. Other notable sulfur allotropes include rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur. Rhombic sulfur is the more stable of the two allotropes. Monoclinic sulfur takes the form of long needles and is formed when liquid sulfur is cooled to slightly below its melting point. The atoms in liquid sulfur are generally in the form of long chains, but above 190 degrees Celsius, the chains begin to break down. If liquid sulfur above 190 degrees Celsius is frozen very rapidly, the resulting sulfur is amorphous or plastic sulfur. Gaseous sulfur is a mixture of diatomic sulfur and eight atom rings. Selenium has at least five known allotropes. The gray allotrope, commonly referred to as the metallic allotrope, despite not being a metal, is stable and has a hexagonal crystal structure. The gray allotrope of selenium is soft with a Mohs hardness of 2 and brittle. The four other allotropes of selenium are metastable. These include two monoclinic red allotropes and two amorphous allotropes, one of which is red and one of which is black. The red allotrope converts to the red allotrope in the presence of heat. The gray allotrope of selenium is made from spirals on selenium atoms, while one of the red allotropes is made of stacks of selenium rings. Tellurium is not known to have any allotropes, although its typical form is hexagonal. Polonium has two allotropes, which are known as alpha polonium and beta polonium. Alpha polonium has a cubic crystal structure and converts the rhombohedral beta polonium at 36 degrees Celsius. The chalcogens have varying crystal structures. Oxygen's crystal structure is monoclinic, sulfur's is orthorhombic, selenium and tellurium have the hexagonal crystal structure, while polonium has a cubic crystal structure. Chemical oxygen, sulfur, and selenium are nonmetals, and tellurium is a metalloid, meaning that its chemical properties are between those of a metal and those of a nonmetal. It is not certain whether polonium is a metal or a metalloid. Some sources refer to polonium as a metalloid, although it has some metallic properties. Also, some allotropes of selenium display characteristics of a metalloid, even though selenium is usually considered a non-metal. Even though oxygen is a chalcogen, its chemical properties are different from those of other chalcogens. One reason for this is that the heavier chalcogens have vacant d-orbitals. 
oxygen's electronegativity is also much higher than those of the other chalcogens. This makes oxygen's electric polarizability several times lower than those of the other chalcogens. The oxidation number of the most common chalcogen compounds with positive metals is minus 2. However, the tendency for chalcogens to form compounds in the minus 2 state decreases towards the heavier chalcogens. Other oxidation numbers, such as minus 1 in pyrite and peroxide, do occur. The highest formal oxidation number is plus 6. This oxidation number is found in sulfates, selenates, tellurates, pollinates, and their corresponding acids, such as sulfuric acid. Oxygen is the most electronegative element except for fluorine, and forms compounds with almost all of the chemical elements, including some of the noble gases. It commonly bonds with many metals and metalloids to form oxides, including iron oxide, titanium oxide, and silicon oxide. Oxygen's most common oxidation state is minus 2, and the oxidation state minus 1 is also relatively common. With hydrogen it forms water and hydrogen peroxide. Organic oxygen compounds are ubiquitous in organic chemistry. Sulfur's oxidation states are minus 2, plus 2, plus 4, and plus 6. Sulfur-containing analogues of oxygen compounds often have the prefix thio. Sulfur's chemistry is similar to oxygen's, in many ways. One difference is that sulfur-sulfur double bonds are far weaker than oxygen-oxygen double bonds. But sulfur-sulfur single bonds are stronger than oxygen-oxygen single bonds. Organic sulfur compounds such as thiols have a strong specific smell, and a few are utilized by some organisms. Selenium's oxidation states are minus 2, plus 4, and plus 6. Selenium, like most chalcogens, bonds with oxygen. There are some organic selenium compounds, such as selenoproteins. Tellurium's oxidation states are minus 2, plus 2, plus 4, and plus 6. Tellurium forms the oxides tellurium monoxide, tellurium dioxide, and tellurium trioxide. Polonium's oxidation states are plus 2 and plus 4. There are many acids containing chalcogens, including sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid, selenic acid, and telluric acid. All hydrogen chalcogenides are toxic except for water. Oxygen ions often come in the forms of oxide ions, peroxide ions, and hydroxide ions. Sulfur ions generally come in the form of sulfides, sulfites, sulfates, and thiosulfates. Selenium ions usually come in the form of selenides and selenates. Tellurium ions often come in the form of tellurates. Molecules containing metal bonded to chalcogens are common as minerals. For example, pyrite is an iron ore, and the rare mineral calaverite is the ditelluride Te2. Although all group 16 elements of the periodic table, including oxygen, can be defined as chalcogens, oxygen and oxides are usually distinguished from chalcogens and chalcogenides. The term chalcogenide is more commonly reserved for sulfides, selenides, and tellurides, rather than for oxides. Except for polonium, the chalcogens are all fairly similar to each other chemically. They all form X2- ions when reacting with electropositive metals. Sulfide minerals and analogous compounds produce gases upon reaction with oxygen.